Hi guys, welcome to the next vid uh, video. And today I have a different topic to work with you guys on. I want you guys to brush up probability with me. So today I have a couple of questions from random variables and the random variable of the continuous type. You know that random variables could be discrete in nature, continuous or mixed. A random variable x has a density function fx equals 2 k upon 1 plus x square, where x can take values anything between minus infinity to infinity. The value of k is pi, 1 upon pi, 2 pi, 1 upon 2 pi. Well, before we jump onto this question, why not just brush up the properties of a probability density function? So a probability density function, which we call PDF, the probability density function, density function, the moment the name density comes in, that means we're talking about a continuous random variable because you associate probability with area, that is density, okay? So the probability density function denoted as fx of a continuous random variable x satisfies the following. So it's a function which will satisfy the following. Now probability density function is portraying probability. So this function definitely definitely needs to be greater than or equal to zero because your chance uh, probability is always greater than or equal to zero for all x belonging to R. Number two, f is piecewise continuous. Because it is piecewise continuous, we are able to actually calculate probability using the area function. Okay. So, using the method to find area minus infinity to infinity fx dx the entire area so whatever your probability your random variable is the pdf in the domain that you are considering if the domain is minus infinity to infinity x can take values between minus infinity to infinity the total probability always have to be one right the total probability always has to be 1. And in density function, probability is portrayed by integrals, that is area. So the total area has to be 100%. Now, number 4 and the final one is that probability. So when you define a probability density function, so probability when x is lying between any two points A and B, is nothing but the area under the curve fx, which will be denoted as integral fx dx from A to B. These are the properties of a probability density function. Keeping these properties in mind, let's work on these couple of questions. So I've already narrated the question to you and I hope that you paused and try, tried it on your own as well. And I guess you even have the answer. Well, we need to find out what is the value of k. If this is a probability density function, then the total area in the entire domain, that is minus infinity to infinity, because this time x lies between minus infinity to infinity, should be equal to 1, right? So this means that the integral k upon 1 plus x squared dx from minus infinity to infinity is equal to 1. k is just a constant, so it can come outside. So we are talking about integral minus infinity to infinity 1 upon 1 plus x squared equals to 1. Now, do you remember what is the integral of 1, plus, uh, 1 upon 1 plus x squared? Your options are also actually guiding you. The answer is in pi because all the options are using pi, right? So which means you start thinking on the lines of a trigonometric function. And once you start thinking on those lines, I think you can recall 1 upon 1 plus x square integral is nothing but tan inverse. So what you get is tan inverse x. The integral is tan inverse x. K is still outside and I have to take 
the bounds minus infinity to infinity and here it is one. Now, K, that means I have tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse minus infinity is equal to one. So this means I can say what I have is pi by two because when it is pi by two, you get infinity tan pi by 2 is infinity, minus minus pi by 2 is equal to 1. And hence, what you will get is, it is k into pi equals to 1. That implies k is equal to 1 upon pi. So, 1 upon pi should be the correct answer out here. So the correct option would be option B. If this question ever appears, then the correct option is option B. Let's also practice another question based on the same sort of concept. So we again have a continuous random variable x. And the probability density function is as following. 3x square, when x is between 0 and 1, it's 0 otherwise. Then the value of a such that probability of x less than or equal to a is actually equal to probability x is greater than or equal to a. So what is that value of a which can give us that? So is it half? Is it 1 by 3? Is it square root of 1 by 3? Or is it cube root of half? Well, probability x is less than or equal to a it should be equal to probability x is greater than a. We have just learned what is probability, uh, how it is calculated in continuous random variables. So that means when I'm saying probability x is less than or equal to a, that means from 0 to a because your random variable is running from 0 to 1, okay? So A is something in between 0 and 1 because that's where the probability is defined. This function is defined. PDF is defined. Okay. So you get integral 0 to A, the function, the function is 3x square, 3x square dx is equal to A, to 1. Mind you, this all is happening because x is lying between 0 to 1. So these integrals have to be between 0 to 1, right? So when we, when we say less than or equal to a, then that means 0 to a. When we say greater than a, that means a to 1. So again, the function is 3x squared dx, right? So let's calculate this. If you integrate this, you will get 3x square. The integral would be 3x cube upon 3 from 0 to a. So this 3, 3 cancels. And this should be equal to, again, 3x cube upon 3 from a to 1. Now, doing that will give me a cube from here, a cube minus 0 is equal to, that means, 1 minus a cube. So this means if I take a cube on one side, I'm going to get 2 times a cube is equal to 1. And that implies a cube is equal to half. And hence, the answer would be that a, such value a is cube root of half, which clearly is one of the options. So all this process is telling you is that cube root of 1 by 2 is such a value where probability x is less than or equal to cube root of 1 by 2 will turn out to be equal to probability x is greater than cube root of 1 by 2. And that should be the correct answer, guys. D, D option should be the correct option. I hope you have been able to recall the properties of PDF and it's fun working with these questions. I hope they are helping you in revising your course. Thank you.